got off work a little bit ago. I'm just swinging by. Quick trip down here at the river. Got my bag, tongs, and my flavored water. Let's head on down and uh, get back with you when I'm done there. Just notice this spot here. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm pretty sure I got a little closer and looked at it. Somebody's been digging there. I'm wondering if they were finding anything good or if I should come back and maybe get it a shot sometime. Well, just getting down here. Still a lot of, quite a bit of snow, but looks like here at the edge of the water and stuff. There will still be plenty of rocks to look through. So I'm going to head over to the water and the to get anything interesting I'll come back that's pretty cool looking rock I'm not sure what that is but it's pretty big and half buried I don't know how well it's coming up in the camera but it's pretty cool looking beautiful bird well, that one's pretty cool looking see if I can get it I haven't seen one like that. I like that. I think I'm gonna leave it here though, but it's still cool. Oh, I don't know how well you can see that. I'm gonna grab it out, but this one looks nice. Not sure what this is, but this might be my first keeper of the day. Let's see if I can get some better light on it. Like this spot running right here. Just found this piece of quartz, picked it up. Looking, I don't know if you can see it. Right in here. And here. Oh, there you go. Some of these metallic flakes. I don't know if those are pyrites or what those are. That's pretty cool. So I have found these before, mainly in this spot. And I was just informed, oops, focus, the other day on a Facebook group that these are actually Western Washington pieces of pet wood, petrified wood. This is a pretty cool piece of conglomerate. Now there's a lot going on in this rock. That's pretty cool.
Some of the granite we have around here is uh, pretty dang cool looking. Just notice this one while I was looking at that other one. There's a big, bigger piece of uh, petrified wood. Or so I'm told that's what it is. I have a lot of this stuff at home, so I'm going to leave this piece here for somebody else if they want it. Still pretty cool. Just saw this sitting out there. I walked out and grabbed it. It's pretty cool looking. Quartz underneath. Up oh, right at the end. So what I'm doing is I came down here along step stones. So now I'm fixing to walk right up here between the water and the snow and check that area all on the way back to the truck. So far not finding much some pretty cool looking stuff but not much I'm gonna take. Hopefully that'll change. So far I'm not seeing anything walking back up this way. But I've still got ways to go. Maybe get up to about there. Well, just keep going and keep looking. So for anybody who may have been wondering, the river I'm on is the same river I was on last time, which is the Stilaguamish River. Uh, last time I was just about a mile, two miles up that up river. Vastly different stuff down here though. I haven't seen a single piece of red jasper. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon about that red. Let's film this guy. Well, just got back up at this end. It wasn't a terribly successful day today, but I found a couple. I'll go over them back at the truck. I gotta climb my way up through this. See you back at the truck. All right, let's get back to the truck. And like I said, not much today. It's just that right at the the base of the trail has found this if this is actually red jasper it seems a little porous and rough so i'm not absolutely positive here's that piece of small piece of petrified wood this one looks different now that it's a uh, not wet but it's still cool the one that has this vein of whatever this is running through it and then the piece of quartz I'm pretty sure it's a pyrite. Oh, it was still a good day. I just like to get out anyways. I wouldn't have been able to see that bald eagle if I didn't. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a great day.